in the past couple of MCCs, you would say these two people who really are expect to win with fine colors, but then got a hurdle in their way to victory. I don't really care. It's really whatever. Going to be RNG. I think it's just going to come down to how we play, and it looks like it's, it's going to be Sansa. It's going to be Sansa anyway. It's going. It's going to be. Anyway. It going it's to be, gonna, it's gonna be oh yeah, it's going to be Sansa time um, okay, for yeah, sure. Was, okay, so we didn't even have a choice. Throw back. Uh, yep. Boots. Boots. Oh, I swear to God, man, I'm gonna break something! No way. That sucks. <laughs> I tried to save you as well, dude. But after their time in those events and the ongoing hype of wanting Sapnam and Puns back together, they are here in MCC 33. And they are not alone. With them, two players who can be overlooked from the community, Gumi and Punk, who really have some contributions to the teams that they have been in. Gumi is a solid player in knowledge of games and helping players to know the event, new players to be exact. Punk on the other hand is actually good at parkour tag. Like really. All combined, this team can be seen as one of the most scariest teams indeed. And also, by the looks of things, this team looks like, you know, that event with the Sapnap all stream. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. So then comes the event. Starting with Rock Escape Rush, and they don't play around at all, with Punz being very dominant in the game despite his history in the past for the game. Where are you guys flying to? No! <laughs> that applies as well to Hole in the Wall, this time with the two together. Again, this game is one of the games that they do not have a good time as well in the past, like Rock Escape Rush. Well, except for when Sapnap British Troop was in MC15, yeah. I still remember that, yeah. Wait, you're an I'm alpha! A king. I'm a fucking king! Wait, you're an alpha! Okay, no. second place got bad. Nice! It's okay. Then comes their first hurdle. Sky Battle Water Fight Remix. Now, it doesn't help at all that Yellow was really dominant in the game. And them, well, they hated the remix even after they played on MCC Island before. Yes, they are FPS gamers as well, but this is not their way of playing Sky Battle at all, putting them to 7th in the game. And to end of the first half, Meltdown, with the same case as Sky Battle, even though they won one round, and that it doesn't help as well that they got team wiped by, well, one of the drunk lads on pink. Yeah. I don't know where anyone else is, oh, but it's a free kill. I'm frozen, I'm frozen, I'm frozen. Oh, oh, yeah, you're getting, you're getting unfrozen? Oh, 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 Are you fucking he's serious? Punk, 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 Battlebox, it's not only just PP, okay? It's the objective, the center, or the control points, yeah. Then comes Ace Race, to which they did pretty okay on, even though most of them have not experienced the map yet. And then comes Grid Runners, which is the same story, with some good rooms like Stone Pyramid and Waterfall Lamps, but they didn't do well in Pipeworks, pushing them down to 6th, coin-wise. You know, sometimes basic redstone skills are needed in MCC at the very least. And finally comes Sands of Time. Now, they don't want this game at all. Parkour Tag was the one they prefer than Sands of Time, since the team already have 3 quarters of good Parkour Tag players in the team. But the RNG Jesus says otherwise and here is Sands of Time. With, well, 3 volts and Pans almost dying. Any keys? Do you have any keys? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I have five or six keys. I, was, I just did a parkour. I fell in lava. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm coming back. Am I dead? I found Wait, you found, the, you found the golden key? Oh. Yeah, I'm not doing this parkour. What the fuck, bro? Eventually, they are in first and is in dodge boat. Well, did. We got first by a lot. No. Yo, like 900 behind purple, though. Yeah! Let's fucking go! Oh, no. Holy fuck, we made oh. it. Holy oh, fuck, no. Santa time. Oh, yeah, oh, should've no. done parkour tag, fuckers. This was really impressive. 
as they shot themselves up from safe to second in one game, thanks to the coin cap they got in the game. So they are in dodge boat, and to summarize, they have a mixed strategy of both sharing the top players and funneling. Yes, the infamous strat of funneling that people said that it makes things competitive, but it's actually not the reason because you know it's just boring for you know, okay I'm not gonna go that deep. And after so many clutches, as well as some good old dominance from yellow, Sapnap got the final shot against the anime protagonist. Let's fucking go! I don't lose that shit! I do not lose! Let's go! Let's go! Yes! Oh, yes. oh my god! Oh my god! I can finally make a tweet! Holy I can fuck, make a tweet! Dude. It's my first glory, oh. So that's two new winners to the Hall of Fame after years of being in the tournament. And Sapnap is now tied with Ish on wins. And they didn't really serve it after some many unfortunate events in the past and some players' dedication to the event itself, with their rich history in the event. So hey, it's really impressive from them at the end of the day. And yeah, that's Red Rapids in a nutshell. And what a ride has it been for everyone. And hopefully players return back again. Yeah, hopefully. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. And keep on watching, dude, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.